everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time we had the greatest of anti-climaxes in the forest. Because we ended things there so early, we had the time to come out here to Route 17 near New Town, and now begin exploring a great big ol' expanse of nature that was right in our own backyards that we would never have known because, well, mom never taught us how to swim because she wanted us to have a sheltered existence and never get away from her. This time, we are gonna be exploring a little bit further. There is quite a lot that you can do around here and I promise it is very worth your time. Heck, it might even be more, more worth your time than the Swords of Justice that we fought against. I came all the way here looking for various Pokemon. Let's see what kinds of Pokemon you came here with. I'm not kidding when I say that. Depending on what your party is and what items you're looking out for, that might be the case. Um, another thing that we did was Mocha! Well, I'm gonna have a rotten day if we're starting out like this. I was gonna point out that we got ourselves an egg from a local Pokemon Ranger. I don't know if he's actually local, but uh, we'll run with it. Uh, eggs, they are based on number of steps, and if you check their status screen, you can see roughly how much longer you have to go before it hatches. If you want to hatch this egg right now, you can very easily do so. Sky Arrow Bridge in Castelia City is the longest continuous space that you can move in one direction without having to adjust your position on the D-pad. If you just go up, down, up, down, up, down on that thing, you'll hatch it in a few minutes. On top of that, if you have a Pokemon with Flame Body or Magma Armor for its ability, you cut the number of steps in half. Your Pokemon is very cool! Sorry, Hilbert, you kind of had your thunder stolen from you, but such is the life with your name. Uh, there are Pokemon trainers across the water, too. I wonder what kinds of Pokemon and trainers live there. Just thought I'd go over that real quick. I'm not going to spoil what we got in there. Uh, I need... No! Oh, my gosh. Why am I... Okay. I am trying to make extra sure that I have the right HM moves before I go out. How am I getting it wrong this many times? I know that I'm not infallible, I know that I'm human, I know that I make mistakes, but it's starting to get on my nerves just how often I think I have all the HM moves squared away, and then whoops, I don't. Uh, HM05 Waterfall. That is one of the big reasons that you would want to come out here, speaking of HM moves. It's entirely optional, you don't have to get it, it's not at all required to reach some kind of final area or anything like that, like it usually is, and in fact, speaking of things that are not required, Normally, you would have to earn a bunch of badges to be able to use this. Typically, Waterfall is the most difficult HM move to be able to use on the field because you need to have a lot of badges for it. This move, however, does not have any such requirement. Specifically, Unova League Gym badges do not give you any power to use HMs. If you find them, you can just use them right away, and that is great indeed. Waterfall is a great move. 100 accuracy, 80 power, physical damage, and it can make the opponent flinch. I think now, it's time for us to say goodbye to Razor Shell. I'm gonna miss chopping things with my scal chop. That's what those shells are called, by the way. I always thought that was kind of funny. So we'll teach that, and now we can climb waterfalls. I, I like that a lot. I like how there's nothing complicated about it. There's no way to have the HM move. It's not letting me use it. Well, that's kind of dumb. There's nothing like that. They just put the HM moves where it makes sense for you to have them, and you can use them right away. I considered going back, but... This is another thing that I appreciate about HM moves. They are hardly ever required. Just straight up. You hardly ever need to use them. And now that we're actually at a point where there's large areas hidden behind HM moves, not only are those areas optional, but we also, I'm gonna get rid of Rock Slide for the time being because I have a TM for it. We are also at the point where we have access to the move deleter and it's not any skin off your nose to use them. It's really easy to just forget HM moves when you don't need them. I wouldn't say that this is the best iteration of HM moves, because I think it's much, much better when you don't have to use HMs to use them at all. <laughs> not naming any names for sake of people who might not have played certain entries yet, but still, that is my favorite iteration of them. So it's really nice and easy. No gym badges required. You can just teach them right away. We can use Waterfall to climb any waterfalls that might have seen in our travels. And now that we have areas locked behind HMs, they're all optional. And, and aside from the one time that you have to use Cut at the very beginning, you really don't have to do them at all. Did you come here from looking at the town map? Maps are good, they tell you lots of things. Unfortunately, many of them are wrong, and if you were following them, you'd be in like, why can't I go west out of New Vimma Town, huh? Or maybe your map is more accurate because you're a backpacker, and so it's kind of by trade that you would have a better map than me. Uh, all right, Swimzakite. I'm happy I have a counter for grass types. Yes, I am. Oh. 
I'm happy you don't have any grass type moves, presumably, too. I'm just being finding a lot of things to be happy about today. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is, in short, I love the way that they handled HM moves in here. It might not be the best they've handled it to date, but at the time, this blew my mind. I also like how strength puzzles stay solved after you've done them one time. So if there's any shortcuts that you can use to come back from an area, don't have to worry about it at all. It's filled in forever. And of course, Surf and Waterfall are great moves, so why not have those on your team if you have anybody who's capable of learning them? It's just all around great. A Dragon Scale right there is an evolutionary item for a Pokemon that, well, we can't obtain. It doesn't do anything else, I don't think. No, it's not a Dragon Fang, so it doesn't raise the power of Dragon-type moves. We also obtained a Deep Sea Tooth a little bit ago, which raises the special attack and is an evolution item for a Pokemon called Clam Pearl. We don't have any way of getting a Clam Pearl, so why give us that? I'm not totally sure. Do I still have Strength Active? Yes, I do. And then this is where all those items are probably hiding. No, this is where wild Pokemon are hiding. <laughs> when I hit Scraggy, <laughs> he looks stunned and like he, he like got caught with his pants down when he got a hit. <laughs> It's always so funny whenever animations pause on really good frames like that. That was perfection. And the fact that the spike hit him through the head, too. <laughs> I like that. All right. Uh, wow. So there was not really a whole lot of anything here at all. That was a little bit disappointing. There was something down there, wasn't there? Yes, there was. And it's a dang good thing I came back for it because I got a calcium. On the note of these vitamins, uh, a couple of people suggested something I hadn't thought of. Since Hilbert is always so low on PP, I'm gonna save this calcium actually. Um, since Hilbert is always so low on PP, cause it's Sludge Bomb does good damage but it doesn't often one hit stuff, why not use my PP ups if I'm not gonna sell them and make Sludge Bomb have higher PP? I think that's a good move. I'm not ever gonna unlearn Sludge Bomb for anything cause the only poison type move that I would ever delete for Sludge Bomb is Sludge Wave, and to get that, I would have to do a lot of battling in the Battle Subway, and straight up, for five extra base power, I'm not gonna do that. Sludge Wave is an awesome move, but again, we're not fighting in double battles either, so, well, I don't think that's really saying that again, it's saying it for the first time, but it's yet another reason for why I wouldn't want to do that. You, I think you're the first time that we're fighting a against anyone like you, so let's make it a good one. Let me see if I, who do I wanna switch in for this? Terabyte, I think you could handle something like this. On a small rise of land, you and I face each other. Why yes sir, we are facing each other right now. Okay, that's not what he meant, he looks very unamused. Veterans are meant to be very seasoned trainers. Think a step above ace trainer, if you will. Contrary to what this guy is making you think from what you're seeing him using right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Haywire, please? I want you to get that plus special attack right now because that scares me a little bit. I know that it was a critical hit, so maybe I shouldn't really be that afraid because Basculin's not exactly powerful, but I'm still a little bit worried about that. Let's see how much this does. Aqua Tail's a powerful move. Okay, that's not super bad. As long as I don't get a 1% chance miss, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Down you go. And your other Pokemon is, oh no. No, 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 no. We are not doing this. I have my plus special attack. I think I'm just gonna go for the damage. I wanna paralyze you because I am legitimately afraid of facing a Darmanitan and having it potentially sweep a bunch of stuff, but... Uh-oh. Well, Ottawa has Aqua Jet. What am I worried about? I don't. I really don't need to worry about anything besides its speed is down, so I'm, I'm just getting worked up over nothing. I thought this was going to be a bit more challenging of a fight than it was, so I'm just kind of expecting something to go horribly wrong yet again, but doesn't seem like that is gonna be the case. Aqua Jet it is. Manitan is no joke, though. Simi Sim. Speaking of jokes, Mega Horn! Fury Swipes! Hey, good to know that we're both getting in on making jokes. Down you go. Okay, well, that didn't go too badly. 
generally they are pretty tough. They usually have at least three Pokemon on their team, and at least some of them are something you don't want to see. I'm going to go back and heal real quick. <laughs> you keep spinning in your field of grass, old timer. I'm not going to judge you for how you spend your retirement days after you have served the wonderful country of Unova. We're going to hop back into the water. There was still a little bit more to that place. I can't get it that way. I think... I think we have to go around and find it some other way. Hey, regardless, if we can't do it, we're gonna be back soon. So we just gotta kinda trial and error this and see where the current takes us. Oh, wow. That's one trial and no error. <laughs> Shoot. The thing that we've been journeying through all this float for is this place. This is known as the P2 Laboratory. It's abandoned now. There's not a whole lot of things that you can do here. Not anything that you can check, except dubious disc, an evolutionary item that you can't do anything at all with either. Whole lot of useless evolutionary items that aren't used for any purpose. Perhaps foreshadowing, perhaps crummy design. I'll let you decide. Going to get into my bags, put up a super, uh, max repel, not a super repel. And you finally. Well, that did not go as planned. <laughs> I thought he was gonna battle us, and then I got a battle, but not in the way that I was expecting. You do fight us, okay? Good. I wasn't imagining things. The more I fight along with my Pokemon, the happier I will be. We're gonna shove you off to the side because A, I don't want to justify that with a response, and B, we have one new encounter in this area found in dark grass. This is your only opportunity to catch Crustal. Recapping a little bit, it's a good physical wall with only three weaknesses, but sadly no immunities and only resistances to poison and normal. You know I use this family for HM moves. A lot of what I said before is true since Dwebble didn't really evolve too long after we could first catch it back in the desert resort. But now, Crustle has the respectable starting move set of Slash, Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, and Bug Bite. Even better, Heart Scales can remind it Shell Smash right away if you wanted to have a Pokemon with Shell Smash. It's pretty versatile, being a mediocre wall some of the time while being an attacker at other times. So if you don't like defensive Pokemon usually and didn't pick up Tier Tuga, this can be a fun alternative. It also learns X-Scissor too, and hey, can't call that useless. The reason why I said that this place is extremely worth visiting and might even be more useful to you than the Swords of Justice, TM24 Thunderbolts. This is probably the best TM that we have seen up to this point in terms of traditional usability. We've had some powerful ones like Acrobatics that not a lot of Pokemon learn and is very situational. Unfortunately, I kind of wish that this wasn't the um, Bolt, Beam, Flamethrower trio, like the one that they gave you. Because not a lot of Pokemon actually learn it, and a lot of the Unovan Pokemon that learn it are terrible at using it. It's stuff like Stoutland that has no special attack. Most of the learn, most of the Pokemon that learn it are like that. Thankfully for me, though, I have a Garboder. And yet you still can't learn Poison, Jeff. I have Haywire. I, of course, want to get rid of Discharge for that. And give myself Thunderbolt. Excellent attacking move. If you have a Pokemon that's good at using it, you're going to do well. I think maybe Kling Clang or just the Clink family in general might be able to use that fairly well. But regardless, there's not a whole lot of Pokemon you're going to find that do. I want to backtrack a little bit just because I was not expecting to do that in one try like I did. There are more items for us to find. Somewhere around here. One of these rocks must be right. Heart scale. All right, we got another item on the horizon. Oh, why not? I'll battle you. I'm feeling generous. Pokemon riding the wave. You are riding the Pokemon. Riding high. I hope you have a Frillish on your team because there's actually a lot of things that I've been wanting to say about Frillish. Uh, I don't like this battlefield, actually. I've wanted to say that, too. It looks like you're on a sheet of frozen ice, like a frozen lake or something. You do have a Frillish! Yay! Okay. So, Frillish. It's time now for your daily recommended allowance of Nightmare Fuel, courtesy of Game Freak Incorporated. Because they just love doing that to little children. So it looks kind of cute, maybe a little bit doofy. What could be so creepy about it? Frillish grabs onto people, pulls them underwater, and drowns them. 
It's evolved form Jellicent does the same thing, but to ships. Why do they do this? Because they are ghosts and their favorite food is life. You will never be able to look at the Pringles man the same way again on a dark and stormy night. Oh my gosh. Like they're, for how silly looking they are. Why are they that creepy? <laughs> You got, like I said, the Pringles guy and then the girliest UFO ever built. <laughs> like, even more so than the ones on Earthbound, and yet that's what they're like? It, it's so weird. I don't know why they made it that creepy, but I guess if nothing else, it made it memorable. I'm not really sure if that's a good thing. Kind of another weird little kind of interesting trivia bit about um, Frillish is that, um... Just wonder who said. Uh, is that... Back during the days of Pokemon Dream World, if you stored a female Frillish or Jellicent in the Dream World, they would appear as male because there wasn't a check for gender differences on them. There actually was artwork created for the female forms, but it goes unused, so here you go. Technically unused content. Not sure why that's the case, but yeah, it's probably the strangest, most unnecessary bit of unused content and one of the least interesting, but because it's so remarkably uninteresting, that kind of makes it interesting in and of itself, because it's a little remote, you know? At least that's how I think about it. And hey, yet another Frillish! For all the lives that you have taken, I'm gonna sink my teeth into you and suck the life out of you! But unfortunately, you're a ghost, and this is not an HP recovery move, so there was no life to steal both ways that you look at it. Whoosh! I'll tell you what, I was taking a break. Having trouble with my bikini. It could have could be washed away. I don't think you need to worry about that considering I just saw you, but um, I guess maybe that's enticing for some to think about. <laughs> where, where is this item? Heart, another heart scale. Okay, it makes sense why they're in the ocean for reasons of yet another Pokemon that we're not able to obtain, but. <laughs> okay, uh, gonna go down. I'm trying to be very careful about how I'm moving. I'm trying to not use my circle pad and I recommend that you do the same if you're playing this on a 3DS. Up here, maybe. Set it to work on self improvement. I am going to throw up this repel instantly. And then. Yes! Another heart scale! You gonna mix this up at any time soon? I'm kinda hoping that you do. Yes! Good thing that I went outward and then back in, because this is how you get to this area that this battle girl was running around in. It's kinda driving me a little bit nuts that I couldn't find it. You love piling on these items high. <laughs> I feel like Pokemon games have kind of gotten more plentiful with the items as time has gone on, which makes sense because there are more items now that they have to give you in general for things like evolution. Fights have their own rhythms. I wonder if whose Pokemon can fight rhythmatically. In a contest of rhythm, I'll just tell you straight up, you win. <laughs> and for the grand finale of everything that we are capable of getting with Surf, this item ball, TM19 Telekinesis. This is a status move that will hurl the enemy into the air, making them immune to ground type moves. I just love that word, hurl, saying it with a at the beginning of it. Yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, it does that, so it helps your enemy in a way, but it makes it so that the moves now bypass accuracy checks when you are hitting them. It's certainly a nice move, and in double battles you see it played a fair bit though, but uh, oh, I guess that wasn't the grand finale after all, because yep, we had to pick up a 17th heart scale. How would we have survived without yet another one? And I think there was actually also another hidden item back over this way that I was gonna go back for after we were done with this, so it really wasn't the grand finale. I am very bad at introducing what sort of situations we are actually in, and crap, this might have been a terrible mistake. I have made a grave mistake. No! I'll be right back. <laughs> And always one space after the repel. There, yeah, all happy, right? Over by the P2 laboratory, big pearl. The fact that it's a big pearl means that we can say we had a big finish. I cannot fly away from here, so I guess I'm sparing you more of my mishaps. I probably should have brought a dedicated HM user of some kind here because I'm really paying for it now. Uh, I am going to go get my strength HM removed off of Terabyte, and then I will meet you somewhere else. Because we're actually not quite done yet. I just had to see what this was, okay? Yeah. 
And wouldn't you know it, from that fight, Terabyte grew to level 40, wants to learn the move Foul Play. This is a powerful move. It's a 90 power, 95 power, physical dark type move that attacks using the enemy's attack stat. It's an interesting move that you kind of have to think a little bit about before using, and I don't have a slot for it. <laughs> I'll dump low sleep for it, at least for the time being. Depending on the situation, can hit a lot harder than Crunch. You're seriously evolving off of that fight? <laughs> well, okay, those of you that get upset with me whenever I'm 99% of the way to evolving and then end things off, here's your payback. <laughs> Terabyte evolving into Crocodile. All five of our team are now fully evolved. <laughs> it's been such a long journey, but it's going by so fast. <laughs> I feel like I just caught you, and I feel like I just got 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 you, and I feel like I was just handed you. <laughs> okay, now for real, I will be right back. I do not want to teach Fly to my Archaeops, because even though it is a little bit cool that it can learn it now that it's evolved from Arkin, That'd be a little bit silly wasting a slot on that because acrobatics is just so powerful. And why not? Because I saw one more ripple of water on the way back. Let's give you an equally stupid debut battle. Don't worry, we'll be sure to give you a real debut battle in the near future. And look at how hunched over and just creepy it looks. Hunched over and how it's hunching over and looking creepy and... I am so sorry, Terabyte. You deserve better than this. <laughs> Maybe if it was Hilbert, it would be very fitting and perfect, but not you. <laughs> I can't believe you had a stupider evolution moment than Hilbert. <laughs> Necessity, you live up to your name. I am so glad to have you right back where you belong, in my pocket. Our next stop is going to be Striaton City. We still are not done seeing everything that we can get with Surf. We've hit a lot of the big bullet points, but we still got a few places to go. This is one that, honestly, I missed, so I thank those who inform me of it. Otherwise, I, you know, might not have known, because feedback is important and all that stuff. I never went to the northeastern body of water right here. And was able to find, or was not able to find, a zinc. Man, Stratton City's got to be like an aristocratic quarter or something like that, because all the hidden items around here are worth buku bucks. <laughs> it's kind of amusing how that is. I'm going to save this for later, actually, once again. Our next stop is gonna be Castelia City, as I was kind of expecting to have made good progress toward hatching this egg by now, but doesn't seem like I have. I am still on the lowest possible tier I could be toward hatching it. Since that's the case, I'm gonna follow my own advice, and we're gonna run around Sky Arrow Bridge for a little while. And see just who will crack first. I gotta hand it to you for an egg. You're pretty rough. Larvesta. The best way I can put this is, don't use it. <laughs> Doesn't require any further review. It's only level one. No string shot in Ember. One of all for 58 more levels. I never thought I'd see the day when I wished a baby Pokemon evolved through happiness instead of by a fixed level, but Larvesta found a way to make it happen. If you want to use this family, there is a much better opportunity at another time. And on the note of something so bad, I want to just say that if you need a sixth team member, or just to finish off your team in general, I'd recommend probably catching something pretty soon. There are exceptions to this. There are still a few good Pokemon that we're going to run into, but a lot of Pokemon from here on out are terrible, even to the point where I think it's worse than the early game stuff. Because at least then they were helpful in the short term. This stuff that we got coming up... Most of them are especially bad. Next up, we have the HM for Waterfall. 
which means that this aside of going around the world and doing all the things our new HM can do for us has now turned in to an aside of seeing all the new things that an HM can do for us inside of another aside of what our new HM can do for us. Thankfully, there's only one waterfall that we've seen on our travels, and I think you remember where it is, considering I made note of it when we saw it, and it's a little bit of a standout thing whenever you see a waterfall for the first time, especially with how pretty, how pretty the water is in Unova. So we're gonna go out this way, and I've been saying for, um, well, okay, I guess I haven't really been saying it for a while, but I did say it once, all the way back in the beginning of our travels, I know, it's so long ago now, we're just kicking back to that, that if you're one of those people who likes boxing your starter after a while, because maybe you've used the starter Pokemon a lot of times and you just kind of want to do something different, I recommended that Oshawott is the choice for you if you plan on doing that. The reason for it is, believe it or not, Samurott is the best HM user in the whole game. There are six HMs. It learns five of them. The only one it doesn't learn is Fly. Learns Cut, learns Strength, learns Waterfall, learns Surf. <laughs> it's really, really funny to me, but it learns five of the six HM moves out there. <laughs> For a starter Pokemon of all things, and if you didn't evolve all the way up, or maybe you don't want to have to level it all the way up to get that versatile of an HM user, it still learns most of them as um, Oshawott and Duwat. I think Strength is the only one it doesn't. There we get a Protein, and only two items to find here. There is Dark Grass up this way, but nothing new for us to find. And now we've made it back to Mistralton City, coming full circle. Just to get it out of the way really quick, no Crocodile cannot learn any moves at the Move Reminder, so we're going to ignore that. The real reason I wanted to come back to Mr. Alton, other than the story, <laughs> is this little, little, little snot-nosed brat who has a hat shaped exactly like mine. How dare you trace? Actually, no, the bill's a little smaller, so never mind. Wow, a jet badge, you won against Skyla. Okay, I'll tell you something cool. We left our treasure at the edge of the runway. There is now an item ball there that was not there before. Does not appear until you talk to him either. TM40 Aerial Ace. Considering you have to beat Skyla in order to get this, something tells me that this was planned to be the reward for beating her, but they realized how many times they had done that, so they thought they'd get a little creative with it and make a really pointless TM. Uh, oh, you found our treasure. Found it. Just kidding. We don't have a Pokemon, so we plan to hide this TM until we got one. But that would be a way, so here, you can use it. We'll get another one from Skyla. You can use it! It's like she's trying to hypnotize us into using it! Confirm Skyla has an infinite supply of Aerial Ace TM. So, there you go. My theory officially canon. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Alright, so... With all of that done... I didn't mean for all to sound so strange right there, but hey, such is my voice. Uh... <laughs> We have picked up a downright massive cornucopia of good items that you can get through the Surf HM, met lots of great new Pokemon, had some epic battles that we could not have had without this move, and gotten another HM move and done our rounds around the world with that one now too. I'd say this is by far the most rewarding HM that we have seen yet. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we move onward to Twist Mountain, continuing on our travels and chasing after Team Plasma. By this point, the city on the other end is probably under martial law because of them. See you guys then.